Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Nasser, a.k.a. The Real Estate Duro. And today I just want to talk to you in reference to karma and a situation that recently happened to me. Well, back in 2009, I did a deal with a person. And when I did this particular deal with this person, it's a real estate transaction, this person uh, screwed me. And um, they screwed me out of some money. And um, I end up getting stuck with this property that, you know, I couldn't flip. And so I have to rent it, rent it out. You know, this person told me that the property values were this and that. And, you know, I'm going to take some blame for them for me not being educated in the real estate market as well. Because you should learn about investing before actually investing. And I didn't learn that till after. I started investing um, by reading Rich Dad Poor Dad. That book pretty much changed my life. And anyway, this person screwed me back in 2009. I stopped talking to the person. Um, we had a fallout. We stopped dealing with each other. And fast forward, February. I'm sorry, fast forward, December 24th, 2013. The FBI came knocking on my door. Yes, the FBI came knocking on my door. And they said, you know, introduce themselves. So, so, you know, I have nothing. I'm like, man, come in, you know. And we just talking. And um, they were asking me questions about that property. And I'm like, yeah, you know, this, that, the third, this, happy, you know. And I bought it. And um, they asked me, um, you know, who sold you that property? They knew, but they were, you know, just asking me. And um, I said, I, I don't know the person's name, um, which I forgot. You know, I didn't, I haven't talked to that person since 2009. I haven't dealt with them. Well, they said, um, they said the person's name. They said, oh, yeah, that's her. And uh, it was an older woman. And now she's uh, 49. So I guess five years ago or six years ago, she's 44, 43, whatever the case may be. They said, yeah, well, she's in jail. So what? She's in jail? For what? You know, and they told me some big financial crime um she's part of some big financial crime here in charlotte and she's in jail and so um they wouldn't give me exact details because they didn't want me to you know i guess have that information but i said oh well you know it's the type of person she was so with that uh being said i asked her so why did you come by here and I, they said well She's in jail for something else, but we're going to go ahead and investigate every real estate transaction she ever took place in and make sure that it was on the up and up because if not, we're going to just build a case. We're just building a case against her. So, oh, okay. And early this week, I got, a, I got a phone call from someone. They told me that she pled guilty. So this person is going to jail at the age of 49. Who wants to go to jail at the age of 49? You know, but this person is going to jail at the age of 49. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because some of you have been wrong before. Maybe it was your feelings, emotions, somebody you trusted. Could have been money. Um, Could have been real estate. Um, business, whatever it was. I just wanted to let you guys know karma is real. And sometimes God let us have a front row seat when that person is paying their consequences. So in, in this particular case, in this particular situation, you know, I mean, I was just like, damn, you know, I, I got wrong by her. I mean, uh, apparently she scammed others, <laughs> other people. And now, you know, she's going to, she got to pay the penalty. You reap what you sell. You made your bed. Now you got to lay in it, you know? And I went on the new, I went on the internet, Googled the situation. And um, majority, these crimes were committed like, 2006, 2007, and uh, 2005, around that time. And it made me think, no matter what you think you got away with, your old demons will always come back to haunt you. 
So I, I just want to, hopefully this story will help someone who's been wronged by somebody before and just, you know, let them know that, you know, that person is going to have their day. And like I said, sometimes God is nice enough to let you get a front row seat on them paying their consequences. I'm Nasa. I'm signing off. Until next time, I wish you much success in your life.